Greetings, unsettled souls. And welcome to uh, the Correct Views. I want to thank everybody who's been jumping on Opera. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That has been extremely helpful. Again, I am trying to get people, I keep mentioning this, away from YouTube and uh, on to Opera News. Friends, uh, I might as well do this one first. I hadn't been planning on it, but fair enough. Um... Do you realize that the Associated Press, uh, they used to be someone who you could consider to be at least somewhat neutral. I guess I'm a long time ago, and the carbon dating or something may have been when this was the case. I don't know. And lately, they've become a shill for the, the left, plain and simple. And I don't know if that's ever been more on display than it is in today's uh, dumdy of the day. I should have played the dumdy music, but I didn't. Um, how is it that the President of the United States can say that he doesn't know for sure that he can get all Americans out after saying that he could? And the Associated Press only reported the first half of that. Now, let, let, let me give you the equivalent to it before I go into the story here. Let, let, me, let me put it into perspective so that you remember why you watched the correct views, and I appreciate you doing it. <coughs> if you get a hold of me at the correct views at hotmail.com, I'm going to give you a lot of money, but I can't guarantee the outcome. What? Let me repeat that because I don't want it to be ambiguous. If you get a hold of me, the name of the show is The Correct Views, I'm Sam. If you get a hold of The Correct Views at Hotmail.com, I will give you a lot of money, but I can't guarantee how that's going to go. You think I'm kidding, don't you? I'm not kidding. All right, let me show you. Do I, I know I have this up. Uh, yes. All right, now listen. This is the second half. Circumstances. I cannot promise what the final outcome will be, or what it will be that it will be without risk of loss under difficult circumstances. I cannot promise what the final outcome will be. Difficult circumstances. I cannot promise what the final outcome will be. Now, don't you think that that should be part of what the Associated Press may want to mention? Headline. Biden vows to evacuate all Americans and Afghan helpers. Yeah. If you just listen to the first half, he left himself a back door and a way out. And I mention this because those who supported Donald Trump will remember that every time he left himself the lightest bit of wiggle room, it was that wiggle room which became the highlight of the story. Biden left himself, not wiggle room, he left himself like a doorway the size of the Grand Canyon and to get out of. And there is nothing here in what we now call the Associated Depressed, thank you Rush, about it. Nothing. Not a void. Don't believe me? Have a look. President Joe Biden pledged firmly Friday to bring all Americans home from Afghanistan. And all Afghans who aided the war effort, too, as officials confirmed that U.S. military helicopters flew beyond the Cabal airport to scoop up 169 Americans seeking to evacuate. Because Biden said he couldn't promise... No, wait, no, never mind, I didn't say that. I'm sure it's coming up. Biden's promises come as thousands more Americans, it says, and others seeking to escape the Taliban struggle to get past crushing crowds. Taliban airport checkpoints, and sometimes insurmountable U.S. bureaucracy. So, you do understand that not only, and this has been reported on a lot, so I'm not just going to repeat this, not only did Joe Biden manage to pull out the military before he made sure that the people were pulled out, which in and of itself is one of the great, greatest blunders since Hitler invaded Russia, but he 
has also managed to do it in such a way. It, this is it is they mention it but gloss right over it. They didn't make sure that the red tape to get out of Afghanistan was something that wouldn't hinder the evacuation. You do understand, and leave, please leave a comment about this. You do understand that, right? How? How does that happen? You, you show up with a passport, they say you need a green card, for instance. And do you realize, by the way, and Biden admitted this today, I heard it on, uh, on Hannity, I was like, why? And then he played the uh, um, video clip, and he does. Biden has to ask the Taliban for permission to stay after the 25th. This is being brought to you 1.59 a.m., 8 2021 He has to ask for permission after the, the, the U.S. has to ask the Taliban for a permission. Let that sink in after the 25th. Look at this. Look how they cover for him. We will get you home, Biden promised Americans who are still in Afghanistan days after the Taliban retook control of Kabul, ending the two-decade war. Unsettled souls, why didn't they put the rest of the quote in? I played it for you over and over again. You know what? It's nowhere in here. It's nowhere at all in here. They just completely cover for him. We're making the same commitment. That little part's cut out of the speech. Uh, I made the decision. That little part's cut out of the speech. On and on and on. Talks about how many people are there. Talks about some of the travesties in the takeover. You know, not a word about what I said. Not a word about any of the facts that I brought you in the beginning of it. That is why the fact checkers and the mainstream media demonstrably right now, I just showed you, cannot be trusted. And that's why it's more important for than ever that you hit share and hit subscribe. Please, please, please do that. And like I said, get a hold of me at the correct use of hotmail.com. I will give you an awful lot of money, but I can't guarantee how that's going to go. Good night, friends. God bless.